Houston at East Carolina. East Carolina is a six-point favorite with a total of 67.5. This one, of course, at 2 p.m. Eastern time as well on ESPN+. Plus. Let's talk about some trends. Let's go on and pull up the stats there. Let's discuss the trends. The So we're not worried about head-to-head here because these two don't play all that often. Uh, the Pirates are 6-1-1 one, and one against the spread in their last eight following a straight-up loss. They are, uh, let's see, 13-4-1 and one against the spread against a team with a winning record. That is what Houston has, of course. Um, yeah, this one's going to be weird. East Carolina 7-3 and three against the spread in their last 10 at home. But I think that's kind of baked into this number. Houston... Not not a lot of trends here. Three and seven against the spread. Their last ten against the team with a winning record. Um, they are two and five against the spread in their last seven conference games. They're two and six against the spread in their last eight overall. Like this is not not a good spot for Houston. However, I think the number is incorrect here because I think it should be a little bit closer. This feels very coin flippy. Uh, Houston's defense is not great, so I think the Holt Nailers is going to be able to do uh, quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, you look at at what they're doing as far as passing the ball. East Carolina, uh, passing a little less than 50% of the time. But, man, that Houston defense cannot stop a pass. I mean, they are just not great at it. Uh, Number 127 in passing success allowed over the past five weeks. PPA per pass is number 129 for that Houston defense. However, you look just overall, Houston's offense number two in the country in offensive PPA per drive. Uh, They are number 128 on defensive PPA per drive. East Carolina... Kind of the same situation. Uh, Not as good on offense. Number 22 in offensive PPA per drive. And on defense, number 93. So Houston's going to be able to score on East Carolina's defense. And at the same time, East Carolina's going to be able to score on Houston's defense. I mean, look at those Houston offensive numbers. I mean, it is crazy. Just crazy. If they can get any kind of a stop, then you're going to be able to do something. Um, But you look at, like, points per scoring opportunity. Yeah, that's not good, right? Uh, number 120 in defensive scoring, uh, excuse me, defensive points per scoring opportunity. East Carolina is only number 50, though. So East Carolina kind of stalls themselves out every now and then. I feel like this is a field goal game. My number has it, East Carolina, by a little less than a point based on the last five weeks of data. Yeah, I don't like Dana Holgerson uh, a whole lot, but especially because he, he cost me that cover against SMU. Gracious, that's that's the only reason. That's it. Otherwise, I love the guy. Uh, but I will take him here. Hey, give me Houston plus the six. Um, it just feels like too many points here. Too many points here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.